I'm here when I get in here, all the uh, representing all over the country. And it's an unconscious Republican side, so I figure I'd just come over and say hi. Hi there. So, how are you doing? Mark Callahan. Nice to meet you, Tracy for, uh, Larson. I'm the first vice chair of the county party. I'm running for U.S. Senate myself, so uh, against uh, your guy, Ron Wyden. So but I just wanted to come over and say I'm going to be friendly and say I'm going to be friendly and say I'm going to be if you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. Oh, absolutely. I'll give you one of my cards here, please. I'll take one. Thank you so much. There you go. All right. Yeah. You? Well, you? you know what? We need people like you to be willing to work with us. Yeah. It's just not a company. I mean, the way I see it is that I've, I've been going around to county fairs, yeah. and I've, I've been to a bunch of them, and I always go over to Democrat booth and talk to them. And I, the way I see it, I figure there's a problem to be solved, right? And there's multiple ways of solving that problem. The, the Republican, the Democrat, the Independent, the Libertarian, Green Party, whatever, right? So I figure we spend way too much time fighting each other on how to solve the problem. And the problem never gets solved. So I figure you can get someone in there like me. So I'm running my own candidacy here. No, but I mean, it may not be entirely true like for everybody. Okay. But that's the general message that comes across. Where do you get that general message from? Where do you hear that? Well, you know, all I have to do is listen to the presidential candidate, Donald Trump. Keep them out. Build the wall. You're wearing it. Build the wall. Keep everybody out. Unless they're, well, you tell me. Who are you keeping out with the wall? Illegal immigrants. And How do you make the distinction between the legals and the illegals? Well, we have the Department of Immigration that does that. Okay, so how much money is going to be spent to build the wall? And what about deporting no all the illegals? How are you going to round them all up? Uh, we're not going to round them up. Oh, well, Donald Trump's talking about rounding them all up. When did he say that? How many times did he say it? Not when did he say it. How many times? Of course it's true. He's never said it. Of course it's We're going to deport them, and we do that when they have... And how are you going to deport the, the illegals? When they have contact with law enforcement. And we find out that they don't have an ID that shows that they're here legally, then they get sent back in that Right. Even if their children were born here? No. Oh, oh that's a different one? We're going to let those people stay? Yeah, if you were born in America, then my and position, your parents, parents were here. Oh, your parents won't. Your parents are going to get thrown out, and you're going to be left without your parents. Well, that's actually a pretty technical situation that you brought up there. And that's a very good point. But that's actually quite, we're pretty far away now from, we're deporting people who don't look like us and think like us. And so well, what we're going to have is what we're going to have, we're going to have the police standing by to check, just like in Germany, papers please. Well, again, I don't think let, that we're going to round them up. It's when these people have contact with law enforcement, that's when we determine whether or well, not That's not the message that's coming out. Well, he's never just, actually said anything other than that. Just so you know, it's not the message that's coming out. It's not the message you think that you're getting, but he's well, never actually said that. He's not ever said that we're going to round people he's, up. He's got a huge history of racist behavior. Oh, that's a different subject. We're talking about well, immigration right now. Right, but what is immigration about? Immigration is about it's people about getting the people out. Who are legally here. We don't have any problem at all with Mexicans coming here legally. Or Germans, or Canadians. And what about the ones that are here? The ones that are here illegally. The ones that are here, they came here illegally. Right, then they're breaking They the had a family. Their children are growing up here. They've never done anything wrong. They pay their taxes, but they but they are illegal, right? That's actually a very so, complicated issue. Well, I'm just well, it seems to I'm wondering at what point at what point is it okay to just if you've broken the law, when, when does it, the statute of limitations run out for when you're actually still a criminal? Because with them coming in here, they broke the law in the first place. That's a very complicated issue, and I'm glad you brought it up, and it is a valid point. But it's not the same at all as saying, well, we're going to get you out of the country if you don't look like us. That's just completely not what we're doing at all. It's well, that's that's exactly what it sounds like. Well, it's what it sounds like, but that's, we're agreeing right now. Well, then now. he's got to change his message. We're agreeing right now that we're, that's not what we're actually saying. We're talking about illegal immigrants. And it is a very le a legitimate point to say that how do we determine with this and that. But it simply is not at all a question of race or racism. This is a question well, about legal and illegal immigration. Right, but when when it targets the people that are of a different color than you are... It, it doesn't target to, people of different to color. Illegal, it doesn't matter what color they are. And it doesn't matter where they're from as well. If you're well, a German or Canadian and you're here illegally, then it's exactly... How many Syrian refugees are... Have um, so come up on lists of, of, of well, people yeah. who are terrorists. We're, we're talking. He's talking about a religious test now. It's not a religious test. Oh no, no. If you come in here and you say you're a Muslim, I didn't say Muslim. I said Syrian. Are, is everybody that's a Syrian 
refugee well, a Muslim? You, well, how do you tell the difference between a Syrian you refugee that is a Muslim? You vent every single person that you allow in this country. Islamist, that's an extreme, and there's not. extremely good point. That's the reason why we need to be careful about vetting people who are coming from that region, because you are absolutely right. How do you know which ones are terrorists and which ones are refugees? Yeah, so my question point. is, how do you know? We don't. That's why we have to say, until we have a way of knowing, we can't take the chance. And until we have a way of knowing, how do we present it to the American people? Exactly. The way why, just, why should, why should somebody right vote for a person who doesn't express how it's going to be done, other than we're going to do this? How is Hillary going to fast track all of the illegals into citizenship? And what, does she his, care what's about what there could what's be possibly? What's the fast track to get illegal? People that have been here illegally, what's the fast track to get them citizenship? Well, actually, when you're talking about people coming from Syria, and the message is we have to not allow people coming in from Syria until we have a way of separating the refugees from the actual terrorists. So, I how, think that we actually so how do you do that? So how do you do that? Yeah, that's a good question. How do we do well, that? Well, what's the plan? I'm not, I'm not an expert in immigration. I know, but, this, but... So it's like, I, I would absolutely agree that we do need a way of doing that. And until we do have a way, we should be on the safe side because in and not Europe, let anybody in. in Europe, they have had a terror attack every two weeks over the last several months. Well, you and I both well, have heard. Well, let, you know, if, if we want to talk about terror attacks, right. talk about the terror attacks in this country. Well, actually, in Europe, they're allowing all the refugees to come in without a vetting process, and that's why we have a terror attack in Europe every couple of weeks. So we don't have that many here. When we talk illegal, I think about the children in yeah. South and Central America, and, and you know all about it. Well, when, I, when, I, when we talk illegal, I think of the people who come here and um, rape little girls because that's acceptable in their own country. I think of the people who... Well, uh, you know what? Church. If you're looking I mean, for rapists, go to church. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's yeah, you know, really. That's nice. <laughs> that's, you know, I've watched speeches by Trump, as well as Hillary. Right. And when somebody shouts out something against what Trump is standing for, what does he do? Well, when somebody's causing trouble or causing problems. Now I'm just talking about standing up and saying something. They get thrown out. They get thrown out. Well, thrown out. So, I, I, so I seem to recall people speech. at the Trump rally in Eugene that were spitting on cops and uh, not letting people get through. Uh, and, you're talking um, about people making trouble. I'm talking about people that are just standing well, what, up to the voice difference? their... What, I mean, I, I mean, aren't like, the same well, people... What you're, you're saying is, to bring saying people that are causing problems, right? 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 No, I'm, if people causing problems is not the same thing as people saying, hey, I disagree with what you're saying. And that's, that's a completely different thing. I mean, I disagree with Leo here on a bunch of things. We don't agree on a lot of things. But Leo, say, Leo, does I, Leo I, I, tell you get out of here? No. No, he doesn't. But and the that, guy who do that you're supporting Trump does. No, actually, he, he, when you get up and talk a lot of people, they say, pushing people and yeah. threatening people and spitting on people, then we say, okay, you can't be here. You're being disruptive. Please leave. That's I, a little I bit get, different. I get that part. Okay. But it's not those people I'm talking And about. I'm sure that Hillary's never had anybody thrown out of her events for disrupting. I think that's what we disagree She's She's had... Democrats thrown out of the events, people that supported uh, Bernie thrown out. Right. We agree upon that. But that's not part of her position. Anyway, ni nice, good luck to you guys. Keep up.